Hey guys, happy Friday and welcome to episode three of Fresh Takes and Mistakes, a brand new vlog where we're going to discuss weight loss, fitness, and all the messy mind stuff in between. Before I get started on episode three, I do want to take a moment to thank everybody who's been supporting me both on my weight loss journey and also on this new vlog journey that I am undertaking. Just know that your support and the fact that I know that you're watching and hopefully I'm helping some of you is making all of this worth it. I want you to know that every single time I do this, I'm very nervous. Hopefully that will change eventually or, you know, lesson. But I want you to know that you watching this and knowing that you are enjoying it, taking something away from it or just being helped by it in any way <clears throat> makes it worth it to me. So thank you so much. Thank you for su your support and thank you for watching. Today, I want to discuss doing what makes your body feel good. So before I get into talking about what does make your body feel good, I want to talk a little bit about overindulging. Why do we overindulge in food? <clears throat> Usually for me, I overindulge because I am trying to either reward myself or I'm trying to make myself feel better emotionally in some way. So I'll eat a bunch at night because I've had a hard day or I will reward myself by going out with friends for dinner or what have you and I will feel like crap afterwards, right? Like after I eat that much, I don't feel good. I feel cramped, I feel bloated, I feel large. <laughs> I can't fit in my clothes and I can't sleep. You ever try to sleep on your belly after you eat a bunch of food or you drink a lot or you, well, overindulge in any way? Because I have and it's not fun. That is something that I used to experience all the time. Like, I want to say at least 50% of the time, if not a lot more, I might really be underestimating that number. But when I was 327 pounds, which was my highest weight, almost every night I would go to bed feeling like that. If any of you have watched or looked at my Facebook and you've seen, like I said, I used to spoon cookie dough into my face, which is funny, but at the same time, it's like, who does that, right? Like, why are we spooning cookie dough into our face? Now, I mean, I'll go back to it. I love cookie dough and I still eat cookie dough, but we can't be spooning cookie dough into our face on a weeknight. Well, really at all, you shouldn't be, but you know, whatever. <clears throat> so my point is after you overindulge like that, you don't feel good, right? You don't feel happy. You don't feel comfortable. You don't probably don't like yourself very much. Um, and you're filled with regret emotionally because you know what you've done. You know that it wasn't good for your body you're guilty and there's nothing you can do about it now. You can't take it back. <clears throat> so why are we doing that in order to reward ourselves? Does it feel like a reward? I mean, it doesn't to me personally, after I've eaten that much or drank that much, it doesn't feel like a reward. I'm not doing anything that's good for my body or good for my mind. So why are we rewarding ourselves by doing that to ourselves? It seems like more of a punishment, right? So also, I mean, if the other thing you're doing is trying to make yourself feel better emotionally, I personally, and I think that probably a lot of you have experienced this, you don't feel better emotionally after you've eaten that much. When your body feels that uncomfortable, you don't feel better emotionally. You might feel guilty, you might feel disgusting, you might feel embarrassed. I mean, it doesn't make you feel better. So what I've done over the last year or so is I've really tried to refocus my energies on rewarding myself and making myself feel better emotionally with things that are not related to food. Now, don't get me wrong, I do indulge. <clears throat> I eat cupcakes, I eat cookie dough, I go out to dinner with friends, and sometimes I overindulge. But when I'm specifically trying to reward myself or specifically trying to make myself feel better emotionally, there are many, many other things that I can do in order to try to do that and accomplish that. Some of the things that I like to try to do personally is, well, let's start with rewarding because it's different really. You reward yourself with some things and you make yourself feel better emotionally with other things. So, and some of them do overlap, but let's talk about rewarding yourself. Personally, the kinds of rewards that I've been trying to experience are hanging out with friends, having a game night, uh, taking a bubble bath, getting a massage, um, I do, uh, I plan on when I reach my 100 pound goal, I'm going to get a photo shoot to celebrate. Um, and then let's talk about the things that we do to try to make ourselves feel better emotionally. I have recently started listening to podcasts that may not be for everybody, but I listen to positivity podcasts, pos podcasts about self-improvement. I am reading some self-improvement books, so that sometimes makes me feel better. 
I have a, self, not a self-improvement, but a positivity playlist on my Apple Music, um, and that makes me feel better a lot of the time. I read fiction books, and that kind of just takes me out of my situation, whatever the situation may be, whether it's been a hard day at work or I'm dealing with something emotionally. If I read a fiction book and it puts me into a different world, then that tends to make me feel better emotionally, at least even for a little while. I have started gardening, and that for me was both a reward and a um, to make, me, make myself feel better emotionally. It's definitely something that you can focus on um, other than food and other than cooking, which by the way, I love to cook. And that is something that makes me feel better emotionally too. You don't have to cook extravagant meals. They don't have to be super high in calories or very unhealthy. You can just take pride in cooking, baking, enjoying that type of thing. So <clears throat> there are so many things that we can indulge in even during COVID-19 quarantine that you don't necessarily make yourself feel terrible afterwards like binge eating does. So try to focus that energy, those rewards that you want to do or how you're going to make yourself feel better on something that is not food related. I encourage you to still enjoy your food and still have treats and still, I mean, love food. That's, you know, you have to eat, so you might as well enjoy it. But try to focus your reward system and your emotional improvement techniques on non-food items. I think that mindset really, really can help. Uh, with the weight loss and with, you know, just kind of feeling better about the things you do have to do to lose weight. I didn't mention exercising during all of this, and I, I feel bad for not because I love to exercise and it does make me feel a million times better. Not everybody watching this is going to be a big exerciser or it's going to be, you know, super capable of exercising, you know, really hardcore at first or a whole lot at first at all. But I will say when I started losing weight, um, I was just walking for like 30 minutes to an hour a day on my lunch break and that felt amazing. To come back after your lunch break, having walked, having gotten some steps in, been outside in the fresh air, which in and of itself is a reward as far as I'm concerned because I don't know if you believe in this stuff, but I'm a Sagittarius and we just love to be free and out in the world. So, uh, but anyway, being outside makes me feel good and then to know that I've accomplished something while I was outside, got some steps in, did something good for my body and made my body feel good um, it's just been, it's a great reward and, and it does make me feel better emotionally as well. So anyway, um, that is my topic for today. I hope that that helps some of you guys. I know that people talk a lot about changing your reward systems and trying to refocus those things on other options, but you know, not everybody has heard it. Not everybody has had it resonated. And if you guys do have any questions, concerns, you want my advice on what you should do other than eating, um, please reach out. I'm here to support anybody who needs any support or wants any support on their weight loss journey um, or on any other journey that you are taking. I didn't mention in the beginning of this, I know that this one was really kind of focused on weight loss, but know that there are other things that, you know, goals and things that you may set for yourself where you do things as a reward or to make yourself feel better. And it's kind of working against you as far as your goal is concerned. Budgeting is a really good example of that. Um, shopping feels really, really good in the moment. And of course it may end you up with some great things that do feel like rewards, but how do you feel after that? Um, after knowing that you've spent that money and that you maybe have gone above your budget emotionally, that may not feel so great. And some people who feel their emotions physically, that may not feel so great physically either. So I hope that I've helped some of you guys today. Um, I hope that I wasn't too long winded. I know that I stretched this out a little bit, but <clears throat> I do hope to, to help anybody that I can. And and I do want to hear your feedback. I want to hear your suggestions. Let me know if you do have any questions or you want to hear about anything specific in the future. Make sure you're doing what feels good to you. Have a great day. Thanks, guys.